Howdy folks, welcome back to the river, catching dinosaurs here. I just filmed a video where I went out and I tried to catch alligator gar, just letting them run for about 25 seconds, 30 seconds with the bait. And we got a nice fish, we lost two nice fish. So I'm out here, this is the same day, I'm going to try to film another video. And basically the goal right now is to land a 7 footer, letting them only run for like 15 to 30 seconds. So that's what I'm doing right now. Alright, we're running. We're going to clear the other rod. Pretty strong run so far. Had it for about 10 seconds. She's huge. Still a nice fish. Five foot. Not bad. All right guys, I got this nice alligator gar here. I wanted to talk about something I've been seeing where people don't understand the role that top level predators play. And we're uncomfortable with letting predatory fish species and also our like land mammals like coyotes, mountain lions, um, wolves. We're uncomfortable with letting them eat their native forage, which is so strange because that's literally their purpose on the planet. They create balance by doing that. We also, as humans, kind of have an issue with things that could potentially eat us. We don't really like them. We don't like bears. We don't like crocodiles. We don't like sharks, you know what I mean? An alligator gar obviously can't, huge gar just came up right behind me. An alligator gar obviously can't eat you, but they are a little bit scary. And because of that, people tend to not really like them. Honestly though, this is the fish version of a dolphin. It plays the exact same role in the ecosystem as a dolphin does, it helps maintain balance, it gets rid of bad genetics, it gets rid of species that aren't supposed to be around. This is literally the absolute best fish in the entire world for eating invasive species out of America. They will eat every aquatic invasive species of fish except the Playco. We've had this one out for long enough. We're gonna go ahead and see her go. Later, get bigger. All right, first fish, five footer, tagged and released, didn't get the hook out. She just went ahead and swallowed it. It was probably about a foot down there. Um, like I was saying though, they eat super quick as long as you present a bait a certain way. I got a rod out. I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff on social media, see if I can get bit on this one. If not, I'll go back up there to my bucket and get more bait. All right, I'm running. Um, already got the back rod in. standing again seems to work pretty well yeah this is gonna get crazy pretty sure this is a big one
sit down. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to get too excited before we figure out what's going on here. It's a big fish. Maybe not a giant, but it's a good one. Got my drag pretty low. At this point, I need to just kind of let her come up on her own time. Don't really need to force it. Strong fight. I can't raise her. I got some trees right here I'm kind of nervous of. Yeah, it takes out. That's good. Oh. So, so strong. I missed the jump, but that's all right. Let's see if she'll do it again. No, oh, I've been here for the. Massive, look at you. Massive fish. No, no, no. Just relax, just relax. Give me a couple minutes. You're good right there. Okay. Don't do the same thing you did before. I don't want to do that again, okay? You're a big fish. Alright, we're gonna get her tagged. Please don't leave. You're too big for all that again. It's all right. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'll let you go. You're way too neat of a fish to harm. I'm almost done. The last video I had people asking me about their nostrils. So I figured I would talk about the three main things they're using to find baits. The first is their eyes. I want you to watch my hand though real quick. See, at like two inches down you can't see. So they're not using their eyes a whole lot. They are however using the nostrils. They have one, two, and I'll lift her up. 
you can see right here she's got two underneath as well one right about there and the other one's right about there with those nostrils is a lot of the way how they're finding live baits and especially dead baits they're they're particularly scavengers they use the flow of the current to bring them dead stuff so they use their nostrils to find it now there's one last way that they find baits and food and this might be a little hard this fish is a little bit big for me to move and manipulate by myself let's see if i can do it so if you check right in here these are all sense organs these are very similar to ampli lorenzini on sharks i'm going to flip her back over what those do is they help her find electronic signals that are put off by fish in the water they also help pick up the water splashing near them from a fish they can feel that and they also can taste so right now while i'm touching her she can actually taste me which is pretty crazy a lot of times when you get a run from a gar they'll actually come up and bump your bait and then after that a minute or two or even just seconds then they'll actually eat it and what they're doing when they bump it like that is they're actually tasting it to see how it tastes so she's been a really good sport about all this she's six foot six beautiful fish kayak caught absolutely amazing i'm gonna get her on her way thank you big girl all right guys thanks for tagging along with me we caught two fish caught a five footer sitting on the run had that second fish she ran for i think about 20 seconds set hard and six foot six big fish she's probably about 120 25 pounds something like that i am looking at a baby gator okay anyway i appreciate you guys thanks for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next one